begin this half hour, though, with popular life coach Tony Robbins under fire over those comments about the Me Too movement. Robbins facing serious backlash after this video of one of his recent events went viral. The motivational speaker is now apologizing, and ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more on this. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. With his motivational teachings and lectures, he's one of the most famous self-help voices in the world. But online reaction to his latest comments on the Me Too movement was swift. Nearly 200,000 tweets, including actress Alyssa Milano, who wrote, wow, Tony Robbins, this is appalling. Good luck trying to recover from this. And if that doesn't work, try something else. This morning, work, Tony Robbins else. is apologizing for these onstage remarks about the Me Too movement. But if you use the Me Too movement to try to get significance and certainty by attacking and destroying someone else, you're going to throw an ounce. All you've done is basically use a drug called significance to make yourself feel good. The comments were made last month at one of Robbins' Unleash the Power Within events. It quickly went viral after the website Now This News posted this video clip of his exchange with audience member Nainine McCool. So I think you misunderstand the Me Too movement. I think the Me Too Not for you personally. What you're seeing is people making themselves significant by making somebody else wrong and getting certainty. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just won't make you happy. I'm not knocking the Me Too movement. I'm knocking victimhood. But McCool pushes back. And certainly there are people who are using it for their own personal devices. But there are also a significant number of people who are using it not to, re, to relive whatever may or happen to them, but to make it safe for the young women. His attitude and the things he said, said in there that he thinks are perfectly okay are exactly what's wrong. At one point, Robbins invites McCool to join him, attempting to illustrate his point. Let's put out your fist. Why are you pushing back? I didn't tell you to push back. Why are you pushing back? Why are you pushing so hard? When you push someone else, it doesn't make you more safe. It just makes them angry. He then shared an example of how he's apparently seen the movement play out in real life. I just was someone the other day, very famous man, very powerful man, who's saying how stressed he is because he interviewed three people that day. One was a woman, two were men. The woman was better qualified, but she was very attractive, and he knew I can't have her around because it's too big a risk, and he hired somebody else. I had a dozen men tell me this. I was really shocked by him saying that. It was, it was a terrible example, horrible. Even the founder of Hashtag Me Too, Tarana Burke, slamming the self-help guru, posting, Tony Robbins, if you talk more to survivors and less sexist businessmen, maybe you'll understand what we want. We want safety, we want healing, we want accountability. Robbins is now apologizing, writing on Facebook, I watch in awe as more and more women all over the world find their voice and stand up and speak out. All of our growth begins with learning. It is clear that I still have much to learn. I need to get connected to the brave women of hashtag me too. And Robin says that there is more to come. And some of his followers are supporting him online, saying that his comments were simply misunderstood. And McCool, the woman who was in the audience, told us that she thinks his apology could have been better, but she called it a good start. Amy. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much. And Larry Hackett, partner at 1010 Media, joins us with more about how this will affect Robbins. And so it's one thing to read the comments. It's another thing to actually see this video. How bad is this video for Tony Robbins? The optics are terrible. I mean, first, the comment about significance, I don't really quite understand. The vision of him pushing against that woman, he's six foot seven, is really kind of frightening. And then the idea of this kind of anecdote about a guy he knows who won't hire a woman because he doesn't want to deal with the hassle, it's unbelievable. Basically, it'll be worse for you women if you continue to push exactly. back. Exactly. Tony Robbins' stock and trade is two things. One is empathy, right? That people, that he understands people. This is terrible for that kind of message. The second thing is his connection to celebrities. They will be running away, stampeding away from him after what he said here. He needs to connect with people fast if he wants to fix the situation. Alyssa Milano said good luck trying to recover from this. He did apologize. Was that enough? It's not enough. He needs to amp that up. He needs to, his whole thing is about transforming what's within you. He needs to transform what's within him and apologize profusely, continuously, and loudly if he hopes to get out of this hole. And talk about how high the stakes are for someone like Tony Robbins. Well, again, Tony Robbins is selling Tony Robbins. It's the whole idea, but what it is, his self-help program is really about him, his empathetic nature, his friendliness. If you're seen on national television or now virally on the 
the web, being basically hostile or at the very least uh, not understanding what millions of women are going through and men, quite frankly, understand, I think it puts a complete hole in your business. What do you think this does for the Me Too movement? I know so many women who have been harassed and abused watch this video and are even further empowered to speak up and speak loudly. Let's remember this movement is relatively new. It's only been several months since the Harvey Weinstein debacle, right? I think things like this test it and they came out very, very well. Their message was clear, simple, straightforward, um, uh, not uh, overly, uh, and, you know, not too strong, right, and I thought it was the, good. Because the problem is real. Exactly, and they made it real, and they continued forward. Tony Robbins is, not, is just a little bump on the road to where they need to go. All right, Larry Haggett, thanks so much. We appreciate it.